The Explore One Action Camera comes with a tripod that looks great by design but is very finicky when it comes to using it. And guys, please don't forget to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So the tripod comes in a great flexible design and has this little quick release feature. But as we get into this, we'll see in a little while just how useful this feature really is. Okay, so let's just take this mount and just screw it on here. Okay, so that's gone all the way in. I've twisted it in as much as I can. The screw seems to be showing on top a little here. And this is your quick release button if you want to disconnect the camera from the tripod. Okay, so first I'm just going to show you how to use the tripod with the outer case. You're going to need to use this little uh, short thumb screw. So just slide that onto the base of the outer case like that and just screw that into place nice and tight like that and then and now you're just going to slide this onto the base mount here okay but for some reason I just can't get it to slide in I think the screw is in the way So it doesn't seem to want to go any further, it's, the screw is stopping it. So I think I need to just take down this screw a little bit. Okay, so now it's nice and flush against that. So let's try and slide it on again. Okay, so now that's gone in all the way. Let me try and twist the uh, tripod again and see if it screws into the Maybe I'll screw into that. Okay, it just seems to be going round and round here. Let's see, is that how it's supposed to be? But it can't be right because the case just seems to be swinging around here. And I can't seem to tighten this any further. It just won't seem to go. Okay, that's the quick release. I can't understand why I can't get this to tighten. So it looks like I'm going to have to push this back a little bit. I'm going to have to push this back a little. Try and get the screw to tighten a little more. Okay. So now... Okay, let me just take this off and screw this in again. Okay, so I've tightened it now. The tripod seems tight, so if I slide this back on again, but I'm just gonna have to stop here where the screw's in the way. And even though it seems like it's, it is quite snug in there, it's just that it hasn't clipped in all the way. At least now it's not swinging around here. And yeah, I don't know, that just doesn't look right to me. It seems like it's hanging off a little. I, Unless that, that's how it's supposed to be. Or they made the screw too long, I'm assuming. Unless I've ended up with a defective one or unless if somebody else is having the same issue, I'd definitely love to hear from you. So drop me a note in the comments below if you guys are experiencing the same thing here. If I stand it up like this. Well, it, it kind of works, I guess, as long as you're not moving it around too much. Okay, so let's do a quick release with the tripod and see if this makes any difference. I, I just want to know what the purpose of this quick release is. Is I mean, will it stand on, on the base? But it's not really standing up because the screw is there, so it's not level, right? So I really don't know what the purpose of this quick release is. I guess unless you want to just pack it away. 
Okay, and if you want to use the tripod without the outer case, you'll just need to use the frame housing mount and you'll just screw that directly onto the tripod. I've screwed it in as much as I can. Um, it does seem a little loose. I'm guessing so that you can just twist it as you're recording so that you don't have to keep lifting up the tripod to turn it around. But it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It seems fine standing like that. Or you can just do a quick release and you can use this as a little base to stand the camera up. Be sure to watch out for more videos on how to use the rest of the accessories included with the Explore One camera and also how to set up the camera and the Wi-Fi.